Oh, hide armor is what I want. And then cleats. And then red ribbon. God, her thing goes up to 15%. It does drop our stuff down a fair bit, though. Oh, the helmet I'm probably going to keep for him. Yeah, just because it's something that actually increases his magic capacity. So I'd rather not waste that. Yeah. Okay. Which isn't too bad, because it means that, that one of the helmets I got can be used for something else. Oh, someone else. Like Sorve or Pico. I just want Pico to catch up first. Cleats. And red ribbon. Now, for Pico, the only thing I'm going to give him is the ribbon. There you go. We've also saved. Very nice. Not too shabby. Now, of course, because I've just bought a bunch of shit, let's sell a bunch of shit. Make back a bit of money, hopefully. Don't sell the hel helmets. All the silver rings, frog shirts can go, magic tank can go, because who cares. I'm not going to use it, it's too bad. In terms of literally defense, it's pretty damn bad. And then we got the red, red oh yeah, headbands. There we go. Because everybody's got a red ribbon except for Sorbet, because we don't have Sorbet yet. And the only other thing I was missing was helmets, I think. I have one of them. Oh yeah, and there's only... I have one? Oh yeah, I could give it to Pico. Yeah, I just need to buy one more. There we go, we got it. Everything's good. Wait, what else do they sell? You sell wakey tails for a non-exorbitant exorbitant sum. You don't. Why are they so expensive? Oh, you can buy sugar stars. Ah! Anti-whistle. No, yeah, rotate your team members. Okay. Weird. I didn't know you could buy sugar stars. It's just easier to find them, I'd say. Oh, he says. I don't know that for a fact. Hey, I just saw this r really pretty girl run by. She seemed a little out of place for these parts. I mean, there ain't nothing but dwarves and pots on this planet most of the time, so she was a nice change of pace. Okay, she just ran past. I get the feeling she's over here. But they're... Oh, never mind. Huh. Oh, hey, did you see that? That was Sorbet, wasn't it? Where? Sorbet? I don't get it. Why is Sorbet here? Wait, what? Who? Where? Was that really Sorbet? She didn't seem to notice us. She hasn't noticed us at all. Celadon is meditating right now. The village is nice and quiet, and he decided to take advantage of it to prepare himself for the festival. Should be done soon, so I can't go in. Okay. <laughs> I love how the pot just moves to, t to tell me. More of them? This is where Elder Kettle lives, but he's out right now. But I just have to tell someone this, and you're here, so you'll have to do. There's a putty here, a real life putty. You don't see a lot of them around, so you should go talk to him if you get a chance. All of the kidnapped pot folk, pot folk were taken to the world seam. I'm really worried about them. It's so hot there. I'm afraid they might crack in the heat. Oh no! I really don't know where the hell Sarbe went. Hey! Are you guys terrorists because I am a boy? Well, because I am, and boy, I couldn't be more excited. Did you hear it's time for the Starfall Festival? Do you even know what that is? No. Neither do I, but I can't wait to find out. I asked some of the locals, but they told me, a and they told me a little bit. I don't know if I get it, but... There's this festival that happens once every 200 years in Paella, something really sacred to the pot folk. On the night of the festival, all the pots gather to make new pots. And these pots came, come to life and become the next generation of pot folk in Paella. Sounds like it's pretty important to the pot folk, so I'm just glad I get to see it myself. Pots making pots. That's right, pots, pots, and more pots, and the pots don't stop. <clears throat> okay. It's different, I guess. We, we, we. Who are you? Oh, hey, that's right, you're talking to Terracotta, sculptor and artiste. I sculpt new potlings. I sculpt the new potlings, but it's up to the stars to decide how they'll turn out. Good, bad, happy, sad, it's all fate. Okay, can I go in your house? Nope. That's like their bunk beds. I don't know why the hell a pot needs beds. You probably won wondered what all the commotion's about, haven't you? Well, wait, you're in for a treat. It's time for the Starfall Festival. It comes only once every 200 years. On the night of the festival, the new baby potlings are born. It's a joyous occasion. You're really in for a treat. I bet. Either way, we need to find Sorbet. She went this... what? Okay. She disappeared into thin air. 
I was about to say she went this way, but I guess she didn't. Actually, to be fair, we saw her here, she ran up, so she could have just run up and to the left. I would assume she did, because where else could she have gone? We'd have spotted her. Ooh, hell oh man. Oh, there's the Elder. Falling Star, Falling Star, uh, what was I going to say? Okay, Elder Kettle. Wishing Star, Wishing Star, here's hoping this year's Starfall Festival comes to a close, comes to a close without a hitch. Okay. Do I need to find Sorbet? Hmm. I'm kind of confused. Oh, there, the pot's moved. Celadon's our barrier smith. He built the barrier that protects Bayella. We've had a lot of trouble with outsiders, and thanks to Celadon's help, we are finally protected. Wait, is this who Celadon is? Oh! Whoa, you look interesting. You're an urn. You're not a pot, you're an urn. Did you see the barrier at the town's entrance? I crafted it. I'm a barrier smith, my name is Celadon. I maintain the barrier to keep evil away from pot the pot folk of Paella. It's hard work, but I feel like I'm doing my part in to maintain order here. Oh, he has a back room. No, oh, he does. No, he doesn't. Never mind. Okay, there's Sorbet. Did you see that? Someone just went into Celadon's house. Oh, God, the offer of food. Hmm. Shit. Okay, so Sorbet went in here. You don't suppose that was Sabe sneaking around back there, do you? That isn't Sabe. She been taken over. It was. I'm a sharp one, huh? Got loads of leaders leadership potential, don't you think? Sabe, what are you doing here? Sabe, we've been looking all over for you. Sorbet, what are you doing? What are you doing with Celadon? Oops. I can't fucking type with one hand. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. What are you guys doing here? Maybe that is Sorbe. What do you think? We're here to rescue you and Miss Madeline. Don't worry about all that. I can handle it on my own. Sorbe? Stay away. If you try to follow me, you'll just be monster bait. Okay. What? Who are you? Where are you taking Celadon? You potnapper, you'll never get away with this. Oh dear. 20 minutes. Okay. We need to tell Elder Kettle. Hmm. Sorbe, what's gotten into you? Sorbe. Why, why would Sorbe kidnap Celadon? Monster bit? Sorbe is really asking for it this time. Yeah, we're intergalactic heroes. How dare. Help someone. Oh dear. Oh god, is it because Celadon's not here? The Enigmas can are able to attack? Help fellow pots. Someone. Elder Kettle. Okay. Celadon was kidnapped? Really? Sadly, yes, it is true. This is most distressing. Celadon was holding the glaze we need for the festival. What? It was in him for safekeeping. For the safekeeping? For our festival that is held but once every 200 years. Yes, we will need Celadon and the glaze back soon to replenish our numbers. Someone must go after him. So that means if we don't find Celadon soon, it could mean the end of the whole village, right? Oh. I really like the music. I really like the music. It's so good. Also, this means we've probably got a new diary entry. If I had to assume. Mostly because we've seen Sorbet, so. Fuck's sake. Yeah. Oh, whoa. Creatures of the dark. There are some weird creatures here. What are we doing on this planet again anyway? And there are pirates here? On a fiery planet? Doesn't that strike anyone else as weird? A little. Um, what? Why would Sorbet take Celadon? Don't come after me. What? Now she thinks she can fly solo? Who does she think she is? An idiot. Is, uh, what she is. 
You never fly solo. You're only going to get yourself hurt. Whoa. Oh no. Oh, hello. I was about to say what the hell was that enemy, but I was looking at our party members in a line. So it really confused me. Okay, you can slightly tell that it's daytime. Not very easily, but ever so slightly. Go Chai! Nice! One of them is real, real nice and thorny. Okay, smokes. I managed to do it! Without having to bloody tap the screen like mad. Which is a first. Because that's normally the only way I can do it. Uh oh, lava spuds. Ah oh, fuck, it's in the back row, which means this hits everybody. Well. Oh no, two hit him. They only did one. One damage. Okay. I do not mind. Ah, oh, bollocks. I thought I could have killed it with a... with a kick. Okay. I don't even see how much Pico got. I'm hopping a bit. The world seems right up ahead. Some girl came by here a while ago and I told her it was off limits. She gave me such a look, I just wanted to shout her right there. Anyway, then she just kept on going. Oh no! What is Sorbe thinking? What the hell is this? The Dwarvish town is just through this cave, Elder Kettle. Ah, okay. And up here there's... Gummy Frog? Fuck me. <laughs> Bollocks. An exploding Gummy Frog! Okay, whoa, okay, there's a lot of them. Holy balls. Some of these are gonna be exploders, and I know that for a fact. So, do that. Turn them over. Blow up the ones that want to explode. There was only the one? Oh, screw you. Now go for the blue ones first, and then the greens. Do they stay upside down forever, or not? I'm assuming they do? Oh, they stay upside down until you grab them. Actually, I'm gonna try and, gri and tap one of them without looking at my TV. Shoot. I got it. Ha! Huh. Somehow. It's not that bad. It's a lot worse than looking at my screen and seeing where I'm pointing, but even still, it's not terrible. Actually, hang on. I'm gonna get into a fight and I know that, but I wanted to try. Oh, I can get in here. The heck? Found any books in your travels? They contain magic that anyone can use. All you have to do is read the book. I'm curious. What can I use to get rid? I'll oh, get the gummy worms. I don't think I can do anything. With more of these. This is probably old hat to you, but you should use bomb items in fights. They can't cause damage to your enemies. They're not that good though. Yeah, I'm certain they do like the lowest amount of damage they could. The world team is up ahead, dangerous, stay away. I would, if we didn't have to chase one of our douchebag friends. Okay. Oh, ooh. Give me those tails. The cursy tail. And a de burn tail. Very nice. Dangerous turn back now, Elder Kettle. Okay. More fire bats. Beep. Just me that gets the power up. Oh no! Pepperthon! And get the boost, the boosty boost. Very nice. Pew, 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 pew! Right. I just really want the back one to die. I don't know why that doesn't work. I just thought it would. Like, I never really noticed that the, the guys in the back take a lot less damage. But, oh well. Lava spuds. Great! I hate the fact they can do that. I, okay, doing a reflex guard's more difficult than I thought it would be. Yeah, because the camera moves, so you can't just tap them because it doesn't hit them. Because the camera moves away, and where they would normally be on the touch screen, it's just slightly off. Kind of sucks. Oh, wait. Dangerous turn back now. Okay. 
Well, I'll go this way instead first. Hello, there's a bridge. Lots of gummies ahead. If you dislike gummy frogs, turn back now. Oh, wow. Okay. Jesus. Hey, it wasn't one that exploded. Holy bloody hell. They weren't kidding. I'm just gonna take all of these. I get the feeling a lot of them explode though. Really? You fucking dickbag. That was an exploding gummy frog! Of course it was. Take, take, take. Take all of them. I'll take this one too. There we go. Oh, do they still stay upside down? Yeah, they do. This is pretty cool. It's just taking lots of gummy frogs. It's just a lot of tapping the screen. Oh shoot. We got into a fight with a guy clocks. And a bat. Oh, it's night time. You can tell, I would say. Like, the ground gets darker. It becomes a very dark blue. Whereas it's a very, well, not very light blue, but it's a lighter blue when it's daytime. Which is very subtle. Ah, 126. That's still quite good. Because it means if they weren't an element that's strong against wood, then that means that would do like 260 damage, which is a lot. Oh man, that thing is dead. Crap. I'm just gonna tap in front of him. Still didn't work. They don't take off anything though. Oh crap, I've just realized. A lot of us aren't able to do anything. Mm. Because we're scorched, which means we don't get a turn. I'm pretty sure that's what scorched does. 2 8, fuck, really? This is bad. Really kind of bad. I was about to say, how the hell are we missing health? But it's from the exploding gummies. There's that. Lava spuds again. Great. Yeah, leave it to it. I still want to see if I can get it. Eh. Oh man. Oh no, 14 damage. Oh, it's Pico's turn. Oh. Or not. Lassies instead. Sure, why not? Boom! Balls. I hate when I miss it. It's such a simple thing to do, you just have to press the screen at the right time, but I can't do that. That really does not do much damage to them, even even though they're in the back lane. Lane? Back bro. I'm not sure why though. Oh well. Level up! Not bad. Level 21! I got healing light! <gasps> Yay! How does this one work though? Is it the same as Lassie's where it requires all of my magic? Or is it a, uh, a fixed fixed amount? Downside is because I'm not at the back I can only heal one person. In particular. Bollocks. Yeah, it's the only downside. Are you serious? Two in a row! I mean, I knew there was going to be exploding ones, but... Didn't think there'd be that many. Either way. Boom. We got... A weasel coat. I will equip this. Weasel. I hope it's better. Oh. Fire... Oh, fire weasels are... Fire weasels are pests, but their skin prevents charring and thorns. So basically, you can't be afflicted with thorn, or thorny, and, um... Whatever the hell else it's called. Scotch, I think. Uh, seems the hide armor's the same as the weasel coat. Which is pretty cool. But, yeah. Actually, it would probably be pretty good to have someone equipped with it. Oh, shit. Not good! Yeah, two guy clopses is very bad. Well, they're very powerful, and have a lot of health. Although we might actually get to see one attack, for once. Because all they've done at the moment is the dance that powers them up. Unless they do that every turn, 
for every first turn they get, and then they attack. I'm not entirely sure. Lava spots. Great. Who's gonna get scorched today? Oh, they all went for Lassie. She got scorched. No, she's burned. Oh, healing. Oh, healing light's actually better. Only requires 50% of my uh, magic, which honestly isn't that bad. I am actually quite surprised. Boom. Ah oh, man, really? Slug. Very good. Yeah, he did it too. Okay. Uh, who to go for? I'll go for the one that's thorny. Downside is the the back the back I can't really do much against. Although, I know I think Pico is able to actually kill it. I think so. I hope so. Yeah, two twenty three. Good. Now it's just a matter of getting rid of the guy collapses. Which shouldn't be too bad. Fingers crossed. Yeah. Boom! Wow, they didn't actually have that much health remaining. Level 21! Right, so we've gotten everything we could here. Only thing I'm wondering about is how the hell do I get to that? It's outside of a cave. Oh, we probably have to go into... Whatever the hell the place is called. I don't remember. Nope. Where the dwarves live. Their home. Oh. No. Oh, that's cool. It's daytime as well. No, we're going against a mud jammer, but it's not called a mud jammer. <laughs> Fire jammer. Go for it. And I have a feeling that won't do that much. Yeah, didn't do too bad. She gets so much MP. 20 per turn. It would only take 7 turns to fully... Like, get all her mana back. Which, to be fair, is quite a long, long time. Oh, really? Oh dear. This isn't good. Unless I can kill them all. With one more magic attack. Perhaps. There goes that one. This one's doing a fight and dance, of course. I have no idea what the that thing's gonna do. It might not even get a chance to attack. Hmm. It won't. Well, I don't know. It might actually have a lot of health. Boink. There it goes. Okay, perfect. Get finished. And there we have it. Well, maybe. Nope, of course. I, I had a feeling one of them wasn't gonna die. Didn't think it would be the guy clops. Oh, bollocks. Or more so, it doesn't surprise me that it's a guy clops. They have so much health. It's like close to a thousand. Which just for a regular old enemy is a lot. Also, the fact that I didn't die sucks. And again, Chai doesn't do much damage. And if I don't get the boost, he does even less. As you saw there, it does just under 100. Which is pretty bad. Pico! Welcome to level 17. When's Chai leveling up? How close must he be? 78. He ain't, that, he ain't that far off. Oh yeah, shoot. Give me these tails. Okay. Deburn tail. And into a cave. Oh. Sorbet's helping them. Unless they struck a deal or something. Shit. We have another fight. I think the way I'll do it is do the fight. Oh god, they're all powered up. No, I'm gonna do the fight, get whatever's in the chest, save, and then end, not end the session, but pause the session as such, so then I can have food. And then just record the rest. After food. I might actually record for longer as well. Depends. How I'm feeling. One thing I don't understand with this game though is why the magic doesn't have a description. Oh, it probably does. I feel like a right idiot, actually. Yeah. Right, this is gonna hit whoever. 
Fuck. I didn't think about it. Ooh. Damn it, that's bad. Ah, oh, fuck, that's really bad. Get scotch. Okay. Oh no. This is bad. Well, scotch, I forgot. I thought everybody was going to get scorched. I'm, I'm glad no one did. Good stuff. It's because they're powered up. Ah, you pricks. I'm running out of wakey tails, too. I have three of them. Ooh. Fuck. No, oh, this is really bad. Rock Chuck. Oh, damn. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh no. Oh good. I can deal with that. Oh wow. Not very well though. Jesus. If Lassie gets a turn I should probably use Healing Wing. Just because it would heal everyone. To full. I'll just use Gummy Frogs once the battle's over. They won't get another turn. But it's whether or not I can kill them. I'm hoping I can. Oh god, come on. Come on, man. Right. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I should have healed. Fuck. I really should have. Oh no, never mind. I'm good. I don't think this is a good, a good idea, but I'll do it. Kaboom! I win. Holy Jesus, that was close. We got Pyramid Hat. That was weird. I'm healing. Holy balls. Yeah, whatever, I don't care. We have a shit ton of fucking gummy frogs. Green frogs, whatever. Uh, there we go. We got a lot of money. Well, a bit of money. And a Pyramid Hat. Gain 30% more money from battles. Oh, if you have the set. I don't. Also, is there anything new? No. There is, however, a new one of these. Lava Lumpling. These creatures form when a fireproof seed falls into hot magma. The resulting creature mopes around for a while, wondering if its flower will ever bloom. Either way, uh, I will be back shortly. Okay, I'm finally back. After... <laughs> A long time, and I also did the dumbest thing I've ever done, I think. When I was doing my sync up, I ended up going... Um... Back to the Wii U menu. It was so dumb. Hi Alice, how are you doing? Alright, let's fight some Pookas. While they are known as en Enigmas, I remembered that they are... Well, en Enigmas the species, I think. Or the race, maybe. But these are just Pookas. We cannot let you go any farther. Time to meet your maker. Yeah, I just can't believe it. I pressed the home button by accident, realized I did that by accident, and then closed the software. <laughs> it was just so stupid. Oh no. These guys get a boosty boost. This is new good. 286. Oh, uh, okay. Holy fuck. These things don't piss about. Lovely. Okay. On the plus side, I do actually get spell strikes when I need to. Oh yeah, a nice 220. Right, the question is, do I heal? Yes, I do. I really wish it didn't take 100%, but whatever. No big deal. Right, so we should all be fully healed. Yes. It still sucks. Because they do so bloody much. Crystal laser. I might not be getting buffed, but this should still pack a punch. And a half. Yeah, go! Very nice. It's blinded as well. Awesome! Stalagmite. Okay. Yeah, I'll just have them two focus on the other one. I, I don't know how much health these guys have. 
cleave. Damn it. I thought I pressed it in the right at the right time.